a lot of professional comedians have started to wear suits and stuff, and I'm dressing for the job I want. I'm putting in the extra effort. Wait, Com- comedians are wearing more suits? I'm sorry, Burt Crusher literally shows all his chest hair. <laughs> Well, that's Bert. That's Bert. Tom Segura, you know? I'm pretty sure wears a t-shirt. I don't think Tom Segura. I don't think I was, has Tom Segura even wearing. Yeah, has, but he wears leather. He wears leather jackets and suits and stuff now. And um, John Mulaney wore suits. Uh, but, no, but, no, I mean, the only other uh, person Chris Stefano has worn a suit. I've seen. But a suit, not I sleep in a suit. I wake up in a suit. I, don't I sleep shower in a, in a suit. suit. I shit in a suit. Michael, I've seen your whole closet now. It's either pajamas or suits. Uh, that's pretty much what it is. <laughs> So, Lily, you you pretty much sleep in a suit and you wake up in a suit. That's pretty much all it is. I like wearing suits. I like suits. I like leather jackets. I like... Hey, Michael, let's go on a boat. Dress shirts. Okay? I like... I'm ready for a boat day. Michael, aren't you going to get a little hot? No, that's why I'm wearing an all-white suit, you <laughs> dumbass. Not a black one. Yeah, it reflects the light. Yeah. Yeah, but no, it's 100 degrees out and I'm wearing all these, like, five layers. No, man, it's all white. Fuck you. <laughs> I would do that just to fuck with you. If we yeah, got to the point where we're rich enough. heat stroke, we'll and, be fucking with you going, oh, we told you it's a boat day today, Michael. It would be worth it. It would be worth yeah, it. And I, oh, so as you're dying, as you're la- you're, it would be the killing, the killing joke for you jokers. Your last laugh is having a heat stroke, but you wanted to wear an all-white suit and a 100-degree boat day. Yeah, I think that would be funny. Hey, how you doing, everyone? My name is Michael, the chairman, and this is Ryan Radio. And welcome back to the Walk and Roll podcast. Well, first off, Ryan, uh, what do you think about my outfit? As you're just making fun of me. Oh, making fun of you. I mean, sure. It's 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 an all right outfit, I guess. I don't I I don't know. Sure. It's gold. Okay. Black, I guess. You don't think gold and black looks cool? I do. I'm just not, I honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of people wearing gold because I think it shows that you're kind of, you're kind of about, you think you feel really high of yourself over <laughs> other people, which is odd. You know, well, it's, it's like, you're kind of like the, you, you know, you're like, you're, hip, you're a hypocrite. You say you're for the people, yet you wear gold to flaunt what you have over people. It's kind of like, you, okay, the like, color, okay, the color gold, the color of gold does not cost more. Than the color red, no, but you know you what really, I mean. But, but it's you have a choice. It's the choice of like you don't have to wear. It. You don't, and, and, you know. I don't have to wear a suit. I don't have to wear. I don't have to wear underwear. I don't have to wear underwear. You need to go into your gold wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just. So, it's, yeah. Uh, well, let's get into that. So the reason I'm wearing the gold tie and the gold pocket square and to go with my golden uh, chairman symbol, right? Is this is my next stage of evolution? All right. I want a, not made out of gold, but a solid gold wheelchair. Why? That is, that's like, you know how you can wrap color? I think it's called vinyl wrapping, or I can paint it gold. It's a gold painted, yeah, a gold painted wheelchair. Why? Because no one will ever fucking forget. (laughs) Stop making fun of my hand motions. No one will ever forget. A cripple coming out on stage wearing this outfit, okay, in a, in a gold wheelchair. You can't say that's not fucking cool. But wouldn't you want more people to remember you for your comedy than from what you rolled out on? It's all, it's all coming together. It's all one thing. Just because I, I, I'm good at comedy be you, doesn't I mean would, I can't I like to be that. cool. I would wait to be bigger to then roll on gold wheelchair because I would rather be known. Why as wait? Well, Why wait when, when I can I do it die, now? When you die, do you, would you want to be known as like, like the guy that almost made it but just wore a gold wheelchair? Like I'd wait to want to get there. Then you want to show then that could be like your next act, and then that could be your symbol, and then that could, you could build off of that. But that, that is my you. symbol. That is no, my. I'm branding myself. Gold, not the gold though. Like I said, like you're not like. Uh, Joe Rogan doesn't like you know what like people don't go and go hey I'm this before I even made it yet you know what I'm saying that's the thing he's himself he's himself this is myself I've been wanting to wear suits since I was fucking three 
But you know, but and my mom's like, everyone's gonna make new. fun of you. I'm like, this people gold already make fun of me. Like, why did you watch Austin Powers Gold Member and then go, oh, gold's I almost a great did this. Idea. I almost oh. did this to make fun of you because I know you like that. Why? Um, like all of a sudden, like I woke I've always like, liked gold. Dream. I've always liked gold. You've never, you've hardly ever talked about gold since I've met you since seventh grade. I don't like, talk about a lot of things. You've hardly mentioned. I'm coming um, into my final form. See, I've, I've realized, why wait till later? This gold tie didn't fucking cost, uh, like, $100,000 more than a red tie. It costs the same amount. Gold tie, gold pocket square. I made my own little golden lapel. You might as well just go to the Met Gala and just wear a tax to I'm ready! Tie. You this might is as well, you to me. Might as, you I might look as cooler well, than all the people that were at the Met Gala. You might as well wear a tax to rich on that shit. <laughs> Like that's what yeah. it says. Like, like I just, like I this just ain't would never, solid gold. This ain't not, solid it's just, gold. It's just the premise. It's just the idea. It's just like all gold. It's just, it's just the premise. Like, it's just like, it's like you no. Might but as well that's just part that. of the funny part. That's part of the funny part. No one will ever ex expect to see a cripple like myself. Everyone. This is just my experience as a cripple. Most people, even though it might be taboo to say, and you're like, oh, that's not true. Very, very true. People look down, literally and metaphorically, at people in wheelchairs. Okay, they do. So you think the gold will help people see you better because it shines more? Like I don't. I think it will remove the stigma that all handicapped people are looked down upon, or all handicapped people are mentally challenged, or all handicapped people can't can't get past their challenges. You know what I mean? Really, people are going to look up a picture of you in your gold wheelchair, and they're going to get a picture of someone in another wheelchair, and this is going to be the scene from The Office. Can you compare these two pictures? And she's going to be like, it's the same picture. It doesn't matter if you're in a gold wheelchair or in a regular wheelchair. I really don't think it's going to change. Nah, dude, I'm telling people. you. People around me, and I'm <sighs> Have you ever been around me in a suit in public? I don't think you have. Have you ever no. seen me in a... No. No, oh, you haven't. because I, I, I yeah. No. Uh, yeah, you've only even seen me in my power chair in public once, which was last time when you drove the van, yeah. which we talked about. Uh, yes. But when I'm driving around, normally I get like pretty bad looks. Or the other day, what was it? What did they say the other day? Anybody um, gets a bad look nowadays. You could be white and you get a bad look. I mean, it, it does. Like, well, that might like, be part of it. Like, I mean, you really take uh, that. Like, like, you take now, now, today, in today's day and age, over any other day, millennium, where if people look at you bad and they go, oh, yeah, they're judging me. Michael, everybody's judging well, no, everybody no. in today's well, world. Well, first off, you said this before, too. I don't care if people judge me and make fun of me. I take risks all the I time. Know, but, but, I Forgot, know, but, but, but what I'm but, saying is, but, why are you saying, what I'm saying, no, I, no, no, I, no, no, I, First off, you know I like to surprise people, shock people. I like to get reactions. And, I like and, to, and let's be honest, shockingly people, if you don't you like, likes to be like egotistical, so he likes to show it a little bit. He <laughs> likes to be a little extra. He, he literally well, is. Well, my mean sister girl calls me Mr. Extra. Yeah, I'm extra. Because you are. I'm extra. It's like it's like it's just like you know we we get your little <laughs> you 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 have a little pride in yourself. We don't need to. Sh we we get it. You no. Know? But that's the thing. I used to have. It used to be so low. Like. Well, I've talked about, like, for God's sake, talk, stop talking about taking risks. I put out some fucking poetry on my YouTube. That's a big risk. Yes. But I used yes. to, I have written about how, like, you know, in my subconscious, I let people attack who I am and all the, all the shit about me being a cripple and all that stuff. Like, I would get death threats, you know, all this stuff about yeah. being handicapped. I've told you some of it. Um, and I never believed it, but in my subconscious, it would get to me. So over time, it eventually would start affecting me. And now I've decided to just f say fuck all that and really be who I am. And I know you might be like, and most people might think this, is that I am extra, I am over the top, but that's my personality. I've always been, I've always been over the top. I always like doing things that are different. And to me, there's no handicapped people that are out there that are doing stuff like this. And I want to lead the path I would just stuff warn you. Like I, I just warn you not to go on the set of ignorance because when you start doing it and people go, oh, I, like people aren't going to like it because oh, this guy's just too good on himself. You know, you but just I don't. don't I don't care about that. I actually like. I like that reaction. But Michael, I like see, here's that. Michael. Here's the thing, though: is when, don't you like the negative reaction where people? Because we live in today's day and age where if people if people react that way, they're not going to show. They're going to cancel. They do everything. 
Well, I know you like that reaction, but I don't even mind being canceled. I don't, I don't mind that. What I'm saying, and I, I didn't go back to this point. Like when I'm out in public and people give me all the stares or like kids will be like, Hey mommy, what is that thing? Or, you know, things like that. And, or, uh, or like, or adults would be like, hi, how are you doing today? I get that shit all the time as a, I'm 25 now as a man, people always think I'm mentally challenged when I'm wearing a suit, just a suit before, not even the gold or anything. If I'm just wearing a suit or even a leather jacket or something, people talk to me like I'm a billionaire. It's fucking weird. You know, because the, when the bar is set so low, you want to be talking like a billionaire? No, no, no. I'm saying, maybe I'm not explaining this correctly. When you're handicapped, the bar is so low of how people treat you. If you just do something that's a little out of the ordinary, it propels you into like the up, upper atmosphere. What I'm saying is, and I like that. I like, I like making people pause and reassess and reflect on the thoughts they had about a group of people. You know what I mean? Kind of. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I do. I do. I just... They have to reevaluate what they think about handicapped people when they see somebody like me putting in the effort. As you know, you're like, Michael, it took you fucking over an hour extra to fucking get ready. It's because it's, it's actually... It's so annoying. Extreme. It's so bad. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it is very difficult for me That's to do That's not an this. excuse. I don't care. Like, I, I don't, you care. don't care. They get I'm not excusing earlier. myself. Then get I should have. It's earlier. my fault. You should That's know my fault that today. it takes over an hour to put a fucking suit on. That's my fault. It was my fault today. I accept responsibility. At least, guys, I can, like, uh, it's, it's about to get double digit times where Michael's told me a time to film and it's been time. It's been over the time. Like you gotta understand, like this isn't just like a thing that Michael literally gets. He's like my grandma. It's getting to the point where my mom has to tell my grandma an hour or two before we're actually supposed to meet up because she knows she's gonna be late. Like you all, it's getting to the point where we have to tell Michael an hour or two early because by that time it actually happens, he goes, "I'm ready." Um, I'm ready. He goes, "Okay, well, I'm glad because we're now starting." But you said two hours ago. I go, "Well, yeah, because I know it's gonna take you two hours to get ready." So, which scares the living shit out of me when you get I big know. and you have makeup people. Because when makeup people do your shit, you're going to take even <laughs> fucking longer. And then by the time I'm hoping this is big enough where I can work from home, so I don't have to deal with that shit in person. So I can just show up half ass with a shirt on and no pants and go, okay, is Michael Daniel? Okay, I'm going to sit in my chair now. I'm ready. And the contrast, what I love too is the contrast between you and me, too. <laughs> I'm so extra in your t shirt, you know? Well, like, I, um, I can get dressed, but when people tell me, hey, three o'clock, Three o'clock. I'm. It's like okay. Hey, I'm there. You know. It's not like sorry guys. It's four. You know. My suit was a little crooked, and it was like I, I had to re-iron it, take it off. You know. I had a shit as well. And dude, I had Taco Bell last <laughs> night, so you don't want to ask. You know. So it's, it's not gonna work. Like you say, three o'clock. Three o'clock. I know. I know. Um, but what I'm saying is, and I take responsibility, like Uncle Ben taught me. All right. Okay, for today. Yes. But. But. Um, great. What I'm Next saying is, I'm is willing happen. to go through the extra effort to look my best, even though it's it, way more challenging, like everything is for me in life, um, than, than what other people are willing to go through. Like Most people nowadays yeah. look like shit, usually on the street. I don't know if you've seen that video on TikTok. Well, they're homeless, that's where why. This, well, in Portland, yeah. <laughs> but like, I don't know if you've seen yeah. those videos. You don't have TikTok, but they go viral all over the internet where there's like uh, guys or like really hot girls that dress up like and look really like pretty from the 50s or 60s like yeah. they do their best to to look outrageously amazing right and they walk down the street of just people that are just looking like they're homeless you know but they're just regular people and everyone it's like they're parting to see like they're moses and everyone's just staring at them and they're wearing they would look like a normal person from the 50s right but today yeah. that like, you know how people used to even dress up to go on a plane and fly? You know what I mean? Yeah. Compared to what people look like today on planes? Oh, dude, I, I don't fucking blame them, especially them 5 a.m. flights. You think I'm trying to wake up at 2 a.m., get my hair done, get my makeup done and everything? No, I'm going to fucking show up in, <laughs> in fucking sweatpants, a sweatshirt, and fucking flip-flops. What the fuck? Like, are you kidding And you me? do you. You do you. But what I'm saying is, even though it's harder for me, I'm willing to do the extra effort to look my best. Okay, I'm going to Because that's you right just now. the way I feel... That's the way I feel inside now. I'm and I reflect right that now. outside. I would put money on it right now on a BetMGM. Book Michael a 6 a.m. flight. 
and you and Michael and Michael cannot be like, oh, it's a special occasion. I'm gonna go to bed early for this. You give Michael the regular day's work, so he's gonna stay up till midnight or one a.m. And then I want him to go to bed at one a.m. and then wake up at three or four a.m. for the flight. <laughs> and then I want to see him get through the shower and get through all and get see if he gets fully dressed for the six a.m. flight. Because I bet you he won. I bet you will show up in those pants. I bet you will show up in a nice dress shirt, but it's unbuttoned, no jacket, no tie, nothing. It'll be somewhat professional. But that's what it'd be. I tell you, it would not be all. I mean, that. if I overslept and I was late, yeah. I would. I would just throw That's what I'm on saying, but you're, you're acting like this is a perfect world. I bet you if, if this is like an evening flight, yes, you can, you know, put the suit on. But I bet you, I bet you, I was, you would just be like any of, and this is why I'm worried now. Is like, I was just using what, planes what hear, as an example. But when, I, an when example. I hear you talking this, I'm starting to worry that you're now, you're coming, you're trying to sell me on Elite Hollywood. <laughs> oh, you know, these outfits, look at this. I want people, you know, people to stratosphere, people to notice me and change the uh, idea. Like, okay, you know, how about, you know, it's I like, don't, no, no, it's not it's that like, people, I feel like this is reality. It's not Michael's that I want people to notice me. It's, it's not that it's Michael's becoming elite guys. I knew it was, <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. I knew he would sell out someday. I fucking hypocrites sell out. Look, I'm not dressing up as a cat like fucking Doja he Cat. A, he at the acts Mac like he's for the people, but he's just one of those big media corporate scum. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm about to replace Tucker on Fox News, bro. Got to look my best. God, at least, um, uh, hey, at least people I look out for. There's someone on this podcast is looking for the regular normal people. Shit. Hey, okay, you're gonna keep making fun of me. I'm gonna put the golden sunglasses on to match the outfit. Oh my god, what are you from? Because you're fashion Fortnite? shaming. You're fashion shaming me. You understand that, right? Those aren't gold. Those are, those are not gold sunglasses. Those are just sunglasses. These are gold trim sunglasses. Okay, I can you go to Walmart. I can go to Walmart for ten bucks, and I can buy gold trim sunglasses. When you say gold, I'm sunglasses, not saying. But that's the thing. I'm saying they're not. They're not expensive. When you, so you just prove my point. When you the say gold, gold sunglasses, the color gold doesn't cost more. When you, when it's you a say color. Gold it's not sunglasses. solid real gold. It's not real gold. But you, when you say gold sunglasses, I expect you to actually pull out like. Part like these Oakleys are like huge, like gold ones. I don't care if it's like real gold, but like actual gold. Those are just regular sunglasses that you've worn on other podcasts. But just for today to prove a point, you're calling them gold sunglasses. Wow. Okay. Look, I got the fucking golden iPhone too. That you've had. Yeah, everything's matching. Wow, with Planet Earth on it, like you've actually given a shit about Planet Earth. Um, dude, can't you tell? I'm an elitist. I care about Planet Earth. I'm a climate change activist now, okay. and I'm wearing okay. gold. Clearly, awesome. where's where's where where the fuck's Lizzo at? Where, Adam Kutcher, <laughs> am I being punked? Where what the fuck is happening here? Like Jesus Christ! What's wrong with liking the color gold? What is wrong Michael's with liking the color gold? Michael's become an elite. You know, I, you I don't, don't, I'm losing I, the world here. How does liking I'm, the color I'm, gold I'm, make I'm, me an elitist? I'm losing track of the world here. Mike, because Michael, I like fashion, Michael, I'm an elitist? Michael, it went from Michael liking fashion to wanting to just stand out in the crowd. Like, look at me. <laughs> I got to stand out somehow, bro, Ryan. I can't stand. Stand out for I gotta your totality. Stand out. Not stand out for your looks. What are you, a tramp? Like, Jesus Christ. Uh, people a tramp? Like my looks. Uh, look at my gold. People love me for my looks. I, was just, I, I like fat. I was just Bro, Ka okay. okay. Ka is Kanye an elitist? He likes fashion. He has his own fashion line. He's anti elite. Kanye's fucking crazy. That's what he is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, it's okay, I'm a little crazy too. The best people are crazy. No, I mean, I guess it's just, I, I just, it's fine. I'm fine overall with you liking gold. I just, I just, um, I just, I somehow reason had this feeling that you, that you have like this vision of like this world that you think people will look at you and project and change this narrative where I feel like I'm just sitting in this place called earth. And I know how people <laughs> are going to react when you try to do this. People are going to go, that's some arrogant fuck. And they're not going to like, your shit. <laughs> they're going to, that's how they're going to react. I would love people to go, look at this man. He's first handicapped stand up comedian in a wheelchair. Like I would love for people to do that. But in today's world, they're going to be like, what the fuck does this guy think he is? Who, who Which I don't I, mind. I don't mind. No, but you know what I'm saying like you're. But I'm, no, I'm. I'm trying to get. My point is like your vision was you want people to look at you differently and and vision, have a different idea of like, not a just group of me. People. All handicapped. That's people what I'm saying. Of a certain remove, group of people. Yeah. Like, but again, this is you. Like, this is your. I feel like you're. This is your perfect role. And I'm sitting here on planet Earth going. The people today are not going to think that. Like the people are just. I just don't think they will. People will just completely take it. They well, have with everything else, now, you know, it, it's crazy until it's actually done, right? Like, 
Everyone called Elon Musk crazy for wanting to make electric cars or start SpaceX, and he almost ban- went bankrupt several times. I think what I'm doing is, you so know, Michael, remember, the bar is a lot lower. I can achieve this. I can remove the stigma by, like, I think I talk pretty well. I think I have a pretty good comedy career starting. I think that with who I am and my branding, like, I, I can start to change stuff. I, I don't, but I think, Michael, I and mean, this is crazy to think, the crazy, people calling Elon crazy then are the same people now. Like, you got to realize that. Like, the crazy people then are different than the crazy people now. So, like, say, shit, this is early 2010s and you're in the 2010s and you're doing this shit. I'd be like, Michael, I bet you people be like, oh, they won't, they'll take you negatively, but I think they'll give you some of a shot, a, like a chance. Nowadays, people look at you and they go, nah, I'm good. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, I'm good. I, so I think you're I wrong. Just, I think you're wrong. I think me rolling on stage in a golden wheelchair would be fucking sick. Okay. Next stand up special. And how about this? Yeah, next stand up special, you wear that outfit and you see how that goes. See if that changes I, yeah. anything. <laughs> anything. And if we want no, back I never and said it and you post it on YouTube, <laughs> and if you hear like a different reaction, you say people treat you differently and they go, they go, yeah, I bet you're going to walk into Helium, the place that has rejected you. I can't walk, you, you fucking so, fascist okay, pig. Excuse me. Excuse you me. fucking excuse ableist me. cunt. Excuse me. excuse me. Sorry, I left the dictionary Canceled. in my other... Sorry, I left my dictionary in my other apartment. Uh, anyways, <laughs> like I was saying, the, the last, what, two years at Helium, you show up and they've rejected you, but this one time you roll up wearing your gold outfit and they go... <laughs> Whoa, excuse me. I'll let you in now. You know, like that's really going to change people. I'm not saying it'll like make people laugh more in the audience. I think they'll be like, oh, what the fuck is this? I think when you exactly they'll be like, what the fuck is this guy? <laughs> you know, I think it does put you on another level where it changes the climate <laughs> of the room where they're like, oh, this guy is like a professional. Like, I think you dress, like, you've heard the saying before, like, you dress for the job you want. Okay, I'm dressing like I think a lot of professional comedians have started to wear suits and stuff, and I'm dressing for the job I want. I'm putting in the extra effort. Wait, Com- comedians are wearing more suits. I'm sorry, Burt Crusher literally shows all his chest hair. <laughs> well, that's Burt. That's Burt. Tom Segura, you know? I'm pretty sure wears a t-shirt. I don't think Tom Segura. I don't think I ever. Tom Segura even wears. Yeah, but he wears leather. He wears leather jackets and suits and stuff now. And um, John Mulaney wore suits. Uh, no, other I bet, com- no, I mean, um, the only other uh, person Christa I Stefano has worn a suit I've seen. But a suit, not I sleep in a suit. I wake up in a suit. I, don't I sleep shower in a, in a suit. suit. I shit in a suit. Michael, I've seen your whole closet now. It's either pajamas or suits. And that's pretty <laughs> much what it is. So literally, you you pretty much sleep in a suit and you wake up in a suit. That's pretty much all it is. I like wearing suits. I like suits. I like leather jackets. I like. Hey, Michael, let's go on a boat. Dress shirts. Okay? I like. I'm ready for a boat day. Michael, aren't you going to get a little hot? No, that's why I'm wearing an all-white suit, you <laughs> dumbass. Not a black one. Yeah, it reflects the light. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's 100 degrees out, and I'm wearing all these like five layers. No, man, it's all white. Fuck you. <laughs> I would do that just to fuck with you. If we yeah, got to the point where we're rich enough... If we heat stroke, we'll and... be fucking with you going, oh, we told you it was a boat day today, Michael. It would be worth it. It would be worth yeah, it. Yeah. Oh, so as you're dying, as you're la- you're, it would be the killing, the killing joke for you jokers. Your last laugh is having a heat stroke, but you wanted to wear an all white suit and a hundred degree boat day. Yeah, I think that would be funny. You know what? Then how about this? How about you put you? How about you swim with the suit on? And we see how that works. I think I could swim with the suit easily. I would love to see that. Okay, let's have Alec take you on his boat, and then you you you, you do a little bit in the lake and see what you film can it. It'll do. be content. I would Michael love the chairman to see him. goes swimming. Yeah. You know what? Actually, what you should do is you should wear that for your competition, and then you see how that goes. I want to. I'll wear. I, I will wear this on the competition day. I, I want. Wait. When do you uh, coming up next? You might be around for it. June. It's going to be early June, or oh, well, actually, okay. it could be. It could be. It could be any time from like for the preliminary rounds. Yeah. End of this month to. I think any time in June for the preliminary. So you might right. be around for it. Yeah. Cause, we'll cause, see. So well, that's the other thing I want to talk to you about is uh, I need to stop making fun of my hand. <laughs> shooter. Uh, what is this? Happy Gilmore? This is like Happy yeah. Gilmore. Shooter. Shooter McGavin over here. Um, <clears throat> like I need. So first off, I took time the other day. I stayed up all night, of course. And I sat down and I wrote the government cunt story. 
where a homeless man, if you don't know, the famous government gun story, where yes. a homeless man is calling me a government cunt as I'm dying in the hospital, which was fun. Uh, so I the sat down and wrote that. Dying. But uh, what do you say? The fourth time he was dying. Yes, okay. one of the, just one of the times. Uh, but it's I too think... long. It's too long. So either I try and find a way to cut that story down or because I don't, you know how my other sets have been like jokey jokes where they're like punchline after punchline after punchline, not stories. I want to do a story Wait, this time. Those are supposed to be jokes? My other sets? Oh, yes, sorry. they're supposed okay, to be I jokes. Was, I was to, I was to, I was if you didn't realize. I was hoping that was supposed to land a little differently. Yes. Yeah. How is it supposed to land? I cannot wait to go to Spiker MTV and go, hey guys, can I host the roast of Michael the Chairman, please? Let me I would love it. to be roasted. Are you kidding let me? Let me host this. Let me host this, please. Because I'll bring you can some host special... my roast. Okay, you can host awesome. my roast. Because I'll bring some special guests, people from high school. Maybe if someone you had a crush on before. I don't know. I'll pull <laughs> on Catherine, everybody. Catherine yes, shows I'll make up. Her sit front row. I'll make her sit front row, and we'll just tee off. You know, we'll have her. And Catherine's there. like this motherfucker. Asked me exactly. if you want. If I want to ride his you left. I'll even let Fucking her cancel him for sexual assault. Yeah, I'll even let an open mic. I'll even let her come up and do a roast if you want. I'll take hands. Maybe that have a mic. Go, have a mic grow throughout the crowd. Yes, you fifth row, tenth person. You know, just have a mic go around. That would be fucking wild, bro. That would be funny. The I'd first be up ever for it. open mic roast sesh on uh, on Spiker MD. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah. So I need either I cut that story down, the government con story. Yeah. Or I find other stories to tell. And I was wondering if you have any ideas for me of stories. Because sometimes I just forget my own shit. I mean, you haven't done the first no shit on Junior High yet. <laughs> well, that's not... Is that really a stand-up story? That's just but, funny to you and me. It's, yeah, it's true. Where that's you true. dodged... Yeah. That, it is a weird thing that happened, though, because in Junior High, we were walking... Well, you were walking. I was rolling. Walk and roll. Yeah. Uh, we were walking and rolling out of the cafeteria um, <clears throat> to go in this like little outside area. Uh, and a bird flew over and shit, and you matrix style dodged this shit with the craziest reflexes I've ever seen. Well, because you and were I, swinging, you were swinging your lunchbox. That's right. Michael, Michael and Junior that's High right. had I a weapon. I forgot I would do that. Michael and Junior <laughs> High had a weapon where literally he'd have like this frozen block. It was the ice box. Like the ice. It's like a. It's just yeah. like an ice box. Well, it had like a, a lunch sack. It was like a sack yeah. with lunch in it with the handles, and yeah, there was like a. Just, there was like an ice block thing that we put in it to keep the lunch cold. Yeah. And I was, I was a psychopath. So I'd go around swing as hard as I could yeah. at people. Yeah, so imagine I was like chasing an old woman, you. like chasing after like a criminal, like, <laughs> she, like, a, like an old woman. Like yeah, the she's purse like, motherfucker oh, tries to hit you my shit. Yeah. You know, like, yeah, you're just beating him with the purse. Yeah. yeah so I'd go and so terrorize I some, people. I said some weird shit. I said some weird shit to piss you, like, not piss you off, but give you a little yeah. reaction. And uh, right when I dodged in, you swung. So I was chasing you. I was chasing you out of the cafeteria. Yeah. And then, yes. And then I was swinging at you and you dodged. I guess you dodged the swing, not the poop. Which, which where and the then, poop was at, though, if I didn't dodge in. Yeah. And it fucking landed on my head and then poured down into my lunch. And that was just a fucking great experience, Ryan. That was a great experience. I had to go get napkins and wipe it, it off my it was, face. The, it was like the funniest. I literally story. got shit on. I you literally, literally got, got shit, shit on. on. Like, you yeah. know how like, literally the video, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. Literally, Michael, I fucked around a little bit. But Michael. Oh, shit. You froze. Okay. The more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. And <laughs> just boom. You froze. Oh, of I course. You're good. You're back. Okay. No, I was okay. saying, yeah, the bird was like, oh, Michael, you want to fuck around? <laughs> You're going to find out. And, uh, you know, right on you. Yeah, that was a fun one. But I don't know if that's a... No, it's is that a stand-up right. story? That's not long enough for like a... No. So th it's, for, the it's preliminary, just... for the pre preliminary rounds, I'm allowed four and a half to six minutes. So okay, I can tell like a that. couple small stories. I know four I can. Four and a half, six <laughs> minutes. Four and a half to six minutes. Not 601. Not 602. Not 6010. Not 610. Not 605. Six. The four four and a half. 430, 430 to 600. Zero, zero. Zero, I don't zero. like being constrained. Okay. I don't like being constrained. Uh I do I have to get better with my timing. But, but when you're a professional, 
there you ain't got time to be fucking it's gonna be constrained it is because you got you're gonna wake up you're gonna get dressed next thing you know your secretary's gonna hand you like a pile of books okay 9 a.m meeting 10 o'clock 10 o'clock uh you know expo you know all this shit you gotta do uh, you, and, you know, the shit that you took <laughs> over an hour guess what you ain't gonna have an hour to take a shit you're gonna have like five minutes to take a shit because then you're gonna have to haul ass out and do more shit well by then i'll hire people I was asking you, you earlier, yeah, to wipe my ass for me. Or, yes, sir, it's time to wipe your ass. Uh, and I was, I was asking you quickly. earlier, I was asking you earlier, what if I hired you as my caregiver? I'd say, hell and, no. <laughs> hell no. No. Heck no. And the thing is, I don't need help wiping my ass. No, I do all no. that stuff on my own. Yeah. But I would pay you extra to wipe my ass so I can look at your face. And guess what? I'd take that money and then match it to pay Alan to be your caretaker. <laughs> And then he would throw like a billion dollars at you and just rain it on you for fun. Yeah. And be how like, much do you think? How, I wonder how much he has in cash. He, there's no way he doesn't have a billion in cash. Do you think he has? Do you think Alan has like in his bank or in cash over a hundred million? Our friend maybe, Alan in cash, pop maybe. But I mean, I I I I'm definitely not a cash carrier. I bet you, Alan. I don't think Alan is here. Alan kind of catches me as a guy that would like. Be well, let's keep, see. I mean, like liquid as liquid asset, like uh, um, like in the bank. I'm just saying, or well, him, it's, it'd be hard. Stuff. It'd be hard because you have to separate Alan from his dad. And you from, have to his, figure out, from his family, and then all his, his assets, family. like buildings and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So, okay. So, because you gotta understand, like Alan. Works Can you believe on, we know someone like that? That's insane. We grew up with a fucking yeah. billionaire. <laughs> fucking insane. Well, yeah, we have a billionaire and a millionaire, and Michael Sherman. Yeah, I look like a billionaire. So, yeah, yeah. So well, nowadays, no. honestly, billionaires look more like Alan. Like they fucking yeah. dress down. They don't wear their their wealth on them. But the yeah. thing is, all oh, this Alan's together, a fucking, Alan's Middle Eastern redneck. So I mean, you know. Yeah, but like this watch. Okay, for example, this watch looks doesn't this? It's a nice looking watch, right? It kind of looks cheap. <laughs> it looks kind of cheap. Okay, well, it is. It means like a hundred and fifty. It's not like a Rolex. It's not you know. Oh, but God, I think it looks pretty yeah. good. Hey, mama, yeah, th- buy me a Rolex. <laughs> I bought all this stuff. Okay, I, I know that, and I know yeah. you ain't got enough money for a Rolex. <laughs> so, no, I, I don't. Well, I do. Not like the most expensive Rolex in the world. I but used I used yeah. like 2010 pre-owned, multi-refurbished Rolex. Yeah, yeah. five hundred bucks. Still a one. Well, um, yeah, I'm yeah. saying like it doesn't. It doesn't cost a million dollars to look nice. Like you can, no. for a couple hundred dollars, you could look your best. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't, you don't have to be ultra wealthy to look your best. Like in the fifties, everyone looked nice and decent. I, I, I just, think- I, I've always identified with that my whole life. I will look at people in suits, like men and like movies and stuff. I'm like, Hey, I want to look like that. It looks really cool. I like that. Like if I see John Wick, for example, which is like, you know, that's, I think he looks cool in a suit. I like suits. You don't think John Wick looks cool? I think he looks cool, but I, I but I don't, but I don't line up at men's warehouse. So go, can I get a John Wick suit? You know, I don't. I'm not. <laughs> I think it's cool. I think he looks cool. Yes, I think the idea of suits are cool. Would I wear them? Yes, I would. But am I trying to sleep in one? Not really. You know, like, I'm not I'm sleeping not, in suits. But you might as well, because that's a whole closet. <laughs> but that's my point. It's like I'm not saying you do, but you pretty much do because you wake up wearing a suit. You go to bed pretty much taking off a suit just to wake up to put another suit on. You know? So like, it, that's all. It, it no, nah, dude. When I'm, when I'm editing, which is like mostly what I do, I'm wearing a t shirt or fucking something. You know, I'm not. You but, know. but you're talking about in public, though. And you're talking about right now. Like when we're yeah, filming. Yeah, I like to look nice in public or when I'm yeah. filming or on stage or. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, so it's like I, I, I would wear a suit. Like, I, I had no problem wearing one for the wedding a couple of weeks ago that I went to. Like, I, I, I love wearing a suit. I think I would, like, if I want to wear a suit, I want to look as fly as possible and stuff. Okay. But, so you agree with honest, me? You mean, I, I, no, but not kind of, but not to be like out here, you know, wearing a suit every day, but like also if I want to wear a suit, I'm kind of be a little modern. Like I'm going to wear like a black and white. So then maybe wear some air force, like some air Jordans on the, instead of dress shoes, you know, maybe a That's little, fine. yeah, but it's like I said, it's just, I'm just saying like, I think people need to step it up a little bit. You know, I'm just saying it doesn't cost a lot of money to look nice. Well, I, I think most people, people kind of look, look like slobs. 
But I'm, it, I'm just saying, like in your price range, wait, wait, you can look wait, wait, your best. Wait, wait, wait. So you can't, you can't tell me, like I can't hate on you because this is what you want to do, and this you feel yourself. But then you can't tell people to step it up because that's what they want to do. Like you can't be hypocrite here. No, like, I think people should do whatever they want to do. I'm just saying, like then they don't need to step I, it I up. I think society don't need to step I it think up. Then. People, I think people have gotten lazy. Do you disagree with that? That's, I don't, but that's their choice. I can't change. I can't be like that hey, is your choice. I'm not changing yes. it. Yeah. But what I could do is look my best, which might inspire other people to be like, well, if he can do it, then I can do it. Yeah, that's yeah, but but like, yeah, that's fine. But that's not going to be everybody, you know. That's just, no, I'm not saying it will be everyone. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm not saying you are. But I'm certain people will be here. like, wow, he's in a wheelchair and he has to do all that extra work to look like that, and he's actually doing it. Well, why? What's stopping people, me from you doing think it? People nowadays have the brain function to think about all that. Really? Some. Some. They're gonna go, oh, gold, mm, rich. Mm, gonna rob and kill. Mm. <laughs> gonna get away with murder. Gonna That's the other murder. thing. I if I go out in Portland like this, I may get stabbed, and my tie will be red then. So, yeah, I don't know. Blood gold, pretty sexy. Blood, blood gold. Oh, blood gold. It's an interesting color idea. No, that would be an interesting color. I'd love to wear some like like a rose. It's not like a rose gold. Like a dark, like a blood, like gold. a red like, gold, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like you got assassinated on some gold, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like a JFK tie. Yes, yeah. Speaking of cool. his, uh, his brother's son, uh, Robert Kennedy Jr. Right, is running. What do you think about that? Oh, it's fine by me. I mean, I, I, I guess it's that season to kind of get you know get into it. Like I, I, you know, Ron DeSantis and Trump are throwing shots, so I'm excited for that. I'm eating it up. RFK is kind of shaking at the uh, the Democratic Party, so it's going to be interesting. I'm, but, I, I would probably he might be the first Democrat I'd vote for. You know, like I mean, I guess I've only voted twice, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, and the I options never were thought, great. I've, <laughs> so it's, yeah. so it's like, could yeah, you it's imagine like Joe like, Biden or Trump? It's like, yeah. yeah, I know. Can you be so proud of like imagine like like you're 18 and you turn and like you're first to be able to vote and go wow. Nixon or Kennedy? Wow. <laughs> but you now you turn 18 and go, wow, Biden or Trump? What a pleasure. Yeah, not <laughs> the best choice. Well, I mean, I don't think, like, policy wise, I don't think I'm Trump not saying did Trump's, I, yeah, Trump's, Trump's good, but I mean, but like I said, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's like, it's like Nixon, Kennedy. You know, it's not, it's like just Trump, but Trump, Clinton. I mean, I'm just yeah, saying Trump. it would be cool to vote for a Kennedy. You know, it would be, yeah. That would be that would be a cool thing. Yeah. Plus, I like him. I think he's a genuine, authentic person. I yeah. like him. Yeah. Yeah, and, and, and it would be, it'd be cool to have like almost like a name. We'd have you on the podcast in a heartbeat, by the way. Yeah. He's going like, on a, a bunch of podcasts. Like, like a name associated. What if, with should I actually politics? reach out to him? You, can you want ask. me to reach out to him? Yeah, you can ask. Yeah, like a, a guy associated with like a name, a Kennedy associated with politics. People look at Kennedy and go, okay, that's fine. You know, like when I hear Trump versus Clinton, I'm hearing like some sort of Supreme Court case where like. Clinton and Trump got into it, or so you know. I'm hearing some sort of court case. I'm not. I don't think presidential election. You know, what I'm saying it's like it's drama. Clinton it's versus drama. Trump is drama. It's drama. drama. Nixon versus Kennedy. That's politics. Yeah. Watergate. That's Watergate was way after that. So I don't really count that towards Nixon at the time. You know. Uh -huh. So, but at the time, you think Nixon versus Kennedy, and it's just like wow, awesome. You know. Have you have you seen the meme where it's like it shows Robert Kennedy giving the speech, Junior, and then. <laughs> It's like Robert Kennedy back to avenge uh, his father, and then Thanos walks through a portal and says CIA. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and they're, nope. and they're playing the music in the background. Exactly. Yeah, okay. going to be Johnson yeah. killed your uncle. We're yeah. going to kill you. Oh, it's so crazy, dude. His his uncle and his father both got assassinated, and now he's trying to avenge them. That's like, I feel obligated to vote for him. Don't you? He's an Avenger. He's Robert Kennedy He's Jr. is an Avenger. Avenger. I'm interested to see how far he'll get with the Democratic Party. I'm interested to see how that'll go. Well, didn't they say that Biden now is, like, there's no Democrat debates? Because they don't want Biden to debate anybody? Did you hear that? I have no like, idea. They canceled the debates, which I didn't know they could do. They're like, no debates, nobody gets to debate Biden. So you just vote on the ballot. Isn't that insane? That's scary. That's totally I know. scary. Because uh, Biden can't debate, so they just canceled them. They just canceled them. I didn't know they could do that. Because which means it's just a sketch. Because you think there's some weird shit going on with the voting, perhaps. Because why would they want to cancel? Mm -hmm. When you think if they want to win it, you'd want to speak and sell people on it. 
unless you weren't worried about people in the first place because you could rig the election. Or, or... I like Cary Lake right there, and I don't want to, but that's what it's, that's what or, it feels like. The other way is that like they're scary. They're scared that they can't rig it enough. So if people see Biden speak, they won't vote for him, and that's why they don't want uh, debates. That makes more sense. Well, I'm just fucking hoping this isn't like the same thing with the with the Senate. Everything like people are going, oh, the red waves coming. You know, midterms. Everyone hated Biden. They don't. See, Democrats, that was right wing propaganda. Every, that everyone was, was cut, yeah. boom. Every, you know, I'm like, okay, I'm waiting for it. Okay, wait, I'm right here. Come on, um, I have my, I'm, I have my, you know, I have my, my uh, floaties. I have my, you know, I have my. I'm ready. I'm ready to go for this red wave. I'm ready to go swimming. Nope. It was more like a red kiddie pool. I'm like, oh wow, this is yeah. great. Definitely so, a red kiddie pool. Yeah. So, so yeah. It, it better be something different. Like I would love, like I wouldn't mind if it's a Democrat that is president. But if it's not Biden, no one that's fucking crazy, that, like RFK, that's fine. I hope it's RFK. Um, my mind's yeah. open. I said, it sounds weird saying Biden RFK. RFK. It's, I'm, so, I'm so used to JFK. RFK seems... seems uh, yeah, I don't think anyone's... I've never heard someone call him RFK. You're the first person I've heard say that. RFK. You're welcome. That's interesting. RFK is president. Another Kennedy. No, I even think about it. It just ran... It just, I just rattle it off like JFK. RFK and JFK. It's like they're the anti-Bushes. Like the Bush dynasty... We're like evil, and the like the Kennedy dynasty is like the good guys. Okay, if you're calling the Bush evil, I take the Bush, the George Bush term over the Biden. So what you want another nine eleven? <laughs> we all know. But after that, he but he was a symbol of America. How he came out there and he fist pumped you first pitch time again. Those bastards, you know, like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm killed the millions of innocent lives. <laughs> okay. You know how many kids I, I, he killed? I, you know, I brought this up to a lot of people. I told like uh, how many people I'd rather be like in the bush than right now. And people would be like, "Yeah, oh, yeah." Like, I'll, like you know, I'm saying like over Biden. Are you kidding me? I'm not saying Bush is a saint, but are you telling me to withdraw the Afghan war? Like, okay, listen to this. The Taliban. I might the, choose Biden over Bush. Okay, Junior. Really? So you're gonna you're gonna choose a president that withdrew out of Afghanistan that. That then made the, that the Taliban. So no, no, what do you mean? Wait, wait, wait. What Bush didn't withdraw? No, he Biden started the wars. Biden did. Biden, yeah, yeah, yeah. The way he did. But did you hear that the Taliban, the people that the uh, the ISIS member that blew up those like twelve Marines or whatever on the you know those fleeing Afghanistan? You know the Taliban captured the ISIS member and executed him. Taliban are looking better than this country is right now. Just saying. Just just saying. What? Don't praise the Taliban, please. <laughs> hey, they caught him. Joe Biden didn't. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Just because, like, they're an enemy. I know the saying, like, an enemy of your enemy is your friend, but not really. You I know? mean, it, it was newer. I mean, Tal the Taliban did, like, they did, it, like, peacefully let them, like, us leave. It's well, Trump Biden had the... Trump had the agreement, and then yeah, Biden yeah, and yeah, and, and, and yeah, and they're Taliban like, okay, that's fine. But what you hear is the ISIS, the ISIS, what killed him was the ISIS member, not the Taliban, you know. And then the reason that the that the it looks so bad is because Biden made it look bad with the the how, like, how is this pro Bush? I'm not. I'm just. I'm no. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's I'm, not. I'm this, saying, this is all. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I don't I'm think we're either. Neither of us are educated to really speak on this. No, we're not. We were kind we're of not. still growing up we're during not. that time. I think, we don't, I, I think you know. maybe I think maybe I'm just thinking of like a face of America. And I saw after I happened to nine eleven, I saw I didn't see Bush like stutter or hide in the basement or fly to Delaware for a weekend or fly to Texas for a People, weekend. Bush was like the original Biden. People made fun of the way Bush spoke and how stupid he well, was yeah, like, in speeches. Yeah, they talked about that in the um that movie with Christian Bale when they did about his uh, vice oh, president. Uh, Cheney. Yeah, Cheney, how they, how, yeah, well, that was a great movie, movie, by the way. Yeah, where Bush came to Ch Cheney, he was like, I'm tired of being made fun of. Like, people make fun of the way I talk. Yeah. And I want to, you know, I want to be a leader and stuff like that. I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I'm saying that's fun. At least you're not reading off a fucking teleprompter or, or, and start and failing at that too, you know? Shit. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying, based I'm on all the wars he started, I'm, and... I'm, I'm saying neither are great. I'm just saying neither are great, but it's just like, like Biden's doing wait. stuff in Ukraine, but Bush still. Dude, Ukraine, Ukraine really? You seen the videos of the nightclubs? You think the people in Kiev, Ukraine, are worried about a war right now? You seen those videos of people no. in the nightclubs in Ukraine? Yeah, they're partying. Like there's no war. Like there's nothing. There's nothing going on. 
There's like there's really? literally night, there's literally videos of people in Kiev in nightclubs. <laughs> two a.m. Two a.m. Three a.m. Throwing money around, doing drinks, doing shots, dancing. Like, like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's what the Jews were doing during the World War II in the Holocaust. They were in their nightclubs dancing. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I bet you they were <laughs> doing you? that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, he's I sarcasm for those of you who don't get it. Sarcasm. Yes. He's being yeah, sarcasm. Sarcastic. Because I'm saying one's an actual war, one's an actual problem, and one's not. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, I think there's still a lot of well, I don't that's the thing. I don't know. We both stop paying attention to politics a lot because we're kind of done with it. I don't know. There's I'm sure there's still a lot going on. I'm still there's a lot of tragedy. But 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 again, you and I blocked it out, but we it it reach us. You and I don't block out Twitter. It would be on Twitter. You would hear it on the news. You would, Apple News would you'd get notified. You would hear about it. If like there was like I, I I blocked that news, but I heard that China is about to like start a war to invade Taiwan and c- countries. Oh, yeah. Have, and like I said, I blocked out the news and I heard that. So I would assume that like I'd hear, oh hey, Zelensky's on his last legs here, people. Like you know, what I mean? you <laughs> hear. Wouldn't you hear something not? Um, well, I think they're partying because Kiev is probably safer because yeah, but NATO is getting involved, which is an act of war. And, yeah, uh, but yeah, you know, uh, hey, there's a war going on. But Millie Bobby or the actors, Bill, Millie Bobby Brown or whatever, you know, the Dutch, you know, uh, the, the wife, you know, I'm, I'm, like, I'm saying that there's a war going on. But all these celebs have like a chance to fly out, like Jill Biden and actresses and celebrities. Oh go, yeah, hey, and Ben Stiller, can we, remember? Can we, yeah, can we stop the war for something while we pose in front of this nice uh, president office? You know, like okay, the war can continue now. No. <laughs> Dude, celebrities. Well, are there's there, it's propaganda. They're war. spreading, you know, they're that's wartime uh, propaganda. It's called the fog of war. If there's an actual war going on, celebrities would not be flying there. Like, hey, let's let's fly, let's get let's worry about getting no, shot I agree now. with you, but I'm sure there's parts of Ukraine that are still no, devastated. Oh, know, yeah, yeah, no, hundred percent. I'm not I'm not saying that, but it's like like what are we doing? Well, like, it's trendy for celebrities to be, you know, that it's the same kind of thing where Instagram models pose in front of like BLM signs or whatever and don't really give a shit and they walk away you after you've seen that. all these videos. You should have fucking done that. When we were when we were banned like early on and growing when we were banned, you should have been like, I'm gonna go to downtown Portland, look for a BLM and go. Fist up. <laughs> see without it done, you know? Just see if that would have worked. Hey, I could have probably gotten a lot of fame and recognition by doing stuff like that. You know what's funny? I'm guy in a wheelchair does something like that. I'm surprised you haven't gone into propaganda just to fuck, like, just because you like to fuck with people. You know, I'm surprised. Well, you haven't that's done that. the other part of me. I don't, I don't lie, which Bianca makes fun of me all the time for. And uh, yeah. yeah, I don't lie. I can't, I can't not be authentic. The only time I can lie, I guess, is if I'm telling a joke that's so obviously a joke. I, that I, that's, like that's this actually, is a problem. I actually talked to my sister about this because I uh, like a lot of people exaggerate their stories in comedy. I was going to say and, like, do you think like you not like like I'm not saying like you want a lot, but I feel like don't you think it's being a, a great comedian is being able to over such people a lie just a little bit. To I just do tell it? because at the end of the I, day, because I, 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 I'm not. I'm be honest with you. If I'm going to see Joe Rogan, I'm not going to walk out and go. You know, does it was that one three he said prove like I'm not thinking I'm going, dude, Joe Rogan was fucking fine. I think I pissed myself like three times at least. You know what I'm saying? I don't think people are really thinking like something. And if you maybe lie like a little bit, people wouldn't go magnifying glass. Okay. <laughs> was he was he lying? I gotta look it up. Google Wikipedia. Wh- where was he on this day? You know, like you know what I'm <laughs> well, saying? Well, that's like, what I'm trying to get past because I don't know what it is about me, but I genuinely it like it it makes me like sick to tell a lie. Is that? Do you relate to that at all? Well, you you even admit on this podcast I, you're a liar. Well, you've lied a lot. Well, I have. But so I, probably I can, not. I can relate. Like it's it's like I don't feel like if I'm like over like if if something like happened like saying hey a bird like a bird shit on you. I'm not saying oh you know like oh yeah this big ass like eagle twelve foot four the biggest bird I've ever fucking seen in my life. I could shit you not. Just drop this mammoth shit on Michael's. It was literally probably the size of an egg. Maybe even two eggs. You know what I'm saying? I'm not lying. Yeah, so you're I'm, just descripting. I'm, you're just yes, more descriptive. And yes, I, I, I do that. I'm, you know, I, can, I, I can do that. I can I do that. You're, you're not lying. You're just, you're, you're slightly over-exaggerating a real-life thing. You're not, like, mm-hmm. you're saying, I, oh, I fucking slept with fucking Jessica Biel, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I shook Jessica Biel's hand, and I may piss myself because I thought she was hot. You know, like, <laughs> uh, you know, like, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, you could exaggerate it. You can exaggerate a real thing, but you're not lying. You're just 
you're you're you've been extra with it you're like you're putting some glitter on it and you're making it shiny you're not like yeah. saying oh this is fake i'm not this isn't actually real like bianco you know is saying? like yeah just add small details of like maybe the homeless man didn't say this one thing to you but you could add, you could just say he did this one thing but he yes, didn't yes because that's not the main part of your and, story your main part of the story is saying he called you a government scum like, that's that's the main part yeah like, which is true i mean that's the wildest part is he really yeah. did i so was the, as i was dying yeah. he was screaming government cunt at me that is a yeah. real thing so if you threw and said so, he also screamed piece of shit and stuff if you've said that people go okay it's fine but he may not scream piece of shit but if you just threw that in there just to add a little extra you know maybe a little, that's fine because yeah. you know it didn't happen that's not a lie might, you're just, you're just i'm getting better at it i'm getting better okay. at adding small details because I, 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 I bet you tom and they're not really lying i bet you i bet you the machine i'm gonna be honest i bet you the machine of burke life i bet you that, that was real it could have been real but i bet you like the explosions all of that probably wasn't real i bet you it's a little yeah. over exaggerated but the premise of the story is probably real it's probably true yeah no i'm sure it is i'm yeah. sure the premise is true yeah, but like so see when i was you watching you know john mulaney right the yeah john mulaney yeah uh so i saw him live with bianca and alan when he was here in portland yeah. And he, at the start of the show, he points to a kid in the crowd and he's like, uh oh, because he's like, I'm going to be talking about all this stuff. And he, he yeah. kind of did a bit with the kid. And I thought that it just happened organically. And then in his special that just dropped, he did the same exact thing with a kid in the audience. I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, that was all fake. They planted a kid in every show. And to me, on a, upon realizing that, that kind of bummed me out. I don't know why. I tend to. I used to have a problem with this when I was younger. I tend to believe everyone else was telling the truth when it, cause I always would tell the truth but you, and I've been getting but, better at understanding how people lie and stuff. And but I don't think he was necessarily online. I think, I mean, he knows it's a show. I mean, it's a comedy. That's the thing. It is a so show. A I'm getting more. Special. And like the way Bianca and her boyfriend were, her boyfriend mainly said this was cause he, over the past years has been getting to know me. He's like, yeah. well, Michael, other comedians, who don't have as wild of stories as you, they have to embellish and exaggerate and be more creative with it because they don't have yeah. stories like you. Yeah. So maybe you just don't have to do as much. And I'm like, that's that's a good point. So yeah. maybe I I have I have so much so many good premises for stories that I just maybe have to do a little just a little cherry on I just spit. Just a but little cherry saying, on top. Saying, like, like 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 if like like it's like if I if you tell me something that's not funny, I won't laugh. But if you tell me the same thing, but you throw in a couple funny things, I'll probably laugh. You know what I'm saying? So like you could just take an idea and then just you know add some makeup, just a couple touches. You're not change, you're not completely changing. <laughs> add a gold line. tie, add a lapel exactly. pin, exactly. add a pocket changing, square to my jokes. You're not changing you. You're just you're just adding. So dress up my jokes how I yeah. dress up. Myself yes. and my personality, yes. right? You're not, you're not, you're not lying to yourself. You're not, you're not a lie. You know who you are. You're just being a little extra. You're adding a little like story or a little couple of small details. Yeah. So that's what, cause, cause I think that's probably would be really good for, like you said, like the kid in the stand, like he's not like lying. You just like say, oh, these, I just want to lie to these motherfuckers to get a rise out of them. Yeah. No, it's a show. A, it's it's a another show. source of comedy for you guys to laugh at, for you guys to enjoy. Like, oh, that's funny. This kid, he's just picking on. And now you may have found out, but yeah, everybody's like, like I said, it's just, he wasn't like he was lying. Is He's just exaggerating idea of a show. Like he was just. I think running. part of the reason I do this is because like, for example, when we were talking about my clothes and stuff, I always have something underneath what I'm doing yeah. that I feel has a meaning to it. Like I'm saying, I want to inspire people, especially handicapped yeah. people that they can look this good. Cause I was always told by people and other people around me who would try and control me. Uh, saying that I could never do things like this. Like I was told by people that with my body proportions and how disabled I am and my hump on my back and everything, I would never be able to wear a suit, which I always wanted to do. And now I'm doing what people told me I'd never be able to do. So I want to inspire people by dressing like this that you can do stuff that you're told you can't do. Same with, um, where was I going with this? Same with uh, jokes and stuff. Well, Michael, I, I mean, don't already forget my point. I, I forget I, my point. I'm already. gonna tell you, I can give you another way how you can impact the handicapped community with your stand-up comedy. No, but I was gonna make an analogy, and I how do I fucking camp. forget mid thought? What the fuck were we just talking about before? Uh, you know, being different from anybody else. You know, you wear this suit. Oh, lying, so lying in comedy. It's like oh, oh, I have, sake. I have. Oh yeah. So this is what I was gonna say. It's like so I'm comparing. 
how I have underlying meaning with what I'm wearing, the way I present myself. Yeah. Same way with the way I present my jokes and things is that when I'm on stage, I am there to be funny. And we've talked about this on the podcast before too, but I want to have my, I, I want my comedy to have a purpose. And sometimes I get too caught up in that and I'm not just funny. And I need to be, I need to be purpose? funny, funny, and then have the purpose and stuff kind of be secondary. Well, you know? What was the on that? Do you maybe think your purpose is too complex? Do you think it's simple? Maybe your purpose goes, I'm, I'm, I'm just here to make people laugh and make their lives more enjoyable. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, like but I, we thought simplifying, like, because like you're, you're not, you're simplifying it mentally, but you know what you, what you want to achieve. Like you, you know your purpose, but you, but if you gotta just simplify it a little bit, so it's mentally, it's not as like that where you're like, uh, 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 uh you know, like simplify it. A little. But you know the meaning. You know, it's a definition. It's just a shorting what actually is supposed to happen. I, I admire Dave Chappelle and the way he does comedy because he talks about real serious issues that are taboo to talk about and he makes them funny and then towards the end he has like a lesson and a meaning to his comedy and that's the direction I've always wanted to go in but obviously Dave Chappelle is a lot older than me with a lot more experience and I'm not yeah. at his level oh, yeah. but that's, really, that's really the way I want to go people... but I can't start I can't start out where Dave Chappelle already is. Yeah. <laughs> like you know I said, I, mean? to be honest, I don't know if a 50 year old guy is trying to come. <laughs> bless you. I said, I don't know if a 50 year old guy is trying to come to a 26 year old stand up special and learn advi life advice. You know, like, well, like, um, I think I have a unique perspective at my age because of the things I've gone through. And I'm not trying to be arrogant. It's just I've learned a lot from the hardships I've gone through that most people haven't, even in 50 years. Sorry, I, I feel a little arrogant. <laughs> Come through there a little bit. Uh, you know, not everyone's gone through, for example, not everyone's died. I think I've learned things at my age that other people might not have. Yeah. But, yeah. But I mean, but it's also like, you know, I am still people, young. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, but I don't look young. Was, people probably think I'm a lot wiser because I look fucking, I look like I'm Dave Chappelle's age. I mean, we also got to realize, that's like, what I'm told. I, I, I'll be honest with this. Like, when, like, I, I'm open for taking life lessons. <laughs> But if someone's trying to spiel a lesson that, like, you know, girl dealing with menstrual cramps, I fucking zone out. Like, I really, like, that's not my say? advice with menstrual cramps. You know, like, it, a you know, life like lesson about menstrual like, cramps? Imagine, no, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was gonna be honest, like, some life lessons when people talk about, I zone out on. You know, because, like, if, if a life lesson. Well, you do that like, with a lot of things. But you know what I'm saying? Like, Michael, like, people come to you and, like, they, you think you, you offer this new perspective. What if, it's not, if that doesn't affect their life? Like, you know, like, it's one thing to change like, a perspective of someone in a wheelchair. But to be go to learn your lessons, what you went through for someone who, you know, is physically able to walk and doesn't have the health problems, they would kind of zone out of your special because they'd be like, they mentally they don't care because they because they because they, they don't relate. You know, it's one thing. But I'm saying, that's again, what that's but that's the thing for comedy. Like, there's so many things I might not relate to that Dave Chappelle talks about, but because he makes him entertaining and funny. I am paying attention and I can relate time. because of the way he tells them. Yeah. Yeah. And then I can empathize easier with those groups of people he's talking about. Yeah. Which I think yeah. I can do for handicapped people. And not just handicapped people, anything, any, cause I can talk about other things just like Dave Chappelle talks about other things. Like he talks about oh, being yeah. black in white America a lot. I can talk about being handicapped in America a lot. No, Walker America. Be handicapped in but white I can America. talk, he talks about, you know, uh, the LGBTQ, obviously, where he's got in trouble. Use that. He talks please, about other things, being rich and Please poor. use being handicapped in white America and see what the reaction you'd get. Like, just don't even talk about your race. Just don't say anything. Just say you're handicapped, you like being handicapped in white America. And just as a joke, and just see people's reactions going, did you just say white? Does that motherfucker know he white? I always want people's reactions to be like, or like, we'll be like, hey, that motherfucker right. We hate white people. You know, I wonder what people's reaction would be to see how you say that. Well, as long as I say I hate white people, I'll get an applause in Portland. I mean, and that's true. Just he be a self hating white person. Yeah. Easy. You, he white, but he right. He white, but he right. You know? Like. <laughs> yeah. What a paradox that would be. Well, I mean, it is a paradox. I mean, you know, the new, like, the, the new young p politician, you know, that the, the, the Democrat Party now is trying to, uh, you know, put on their pedestal, like, a few years ago was caught just chanting and physically uh, assaulting uh, LGBTQ people. 
So that's fun. It's just fun. Who was it? I don't know his name, but suppose this is younger politician who's like AOC, who is getting a lot of steam in the Democratic Party, who people are like, say, oh, this guy's great. A video released of him like three years ago, like chanting very graphic homophobic slurs at people. Only three pride, years? Like, like three or four years ago, like a pride parade. And he goes up to him and starts like punching him and stuff. So it's like, oh, so it's like, wait, wait, wait. Since I'm saying, it's like, how does this work? You, you say you hate these people, but then you put this guy, like I was saying, like, you literally could say you're a white guy. But if you say you hate white America, people are like, he's right. Yeah, we hate white people. This guy's correct, you know? So Isn't it's like, that weird that anyone could ever say, I hate all this group of people, and that's okay? I, I don't even... It's well, so, it's, it's, it's okay, you no, know, because it's white people. But you remember if... It doesn't make sense. It, it isn't. It isn't. Or it just doesn't. Or like a, a gender. Like, you know, like, I guess it's, I guess it's of weird. Of course, if you say, I that. hate all of one thing, I mean... The only way it would make sense if you're like, I hate all. Well, I, I, not even, because like, do you know who? Uh, do you remember who? Um, what's his name? Daryl Davis, I think his name was. I was about to say like, you could say I hate all Nazis, but then I thought of Daryl Davis, who's a black man, who's a jazz musician, who yeah. actually hung out with uh, people who are Nazis in the KKK. He got this, them all like, to yeah. renounce. Yeah, he got them all to announce, renounce their robes and their Nazi patches or whatever. And they're like, yeah, man, I don't know what I was thinking. I just grew up in a racist family and I went along with it. And they yeah. like were good people. And Daryl Davis, who was a black man, like saved their lives from being yeah. a part of that. So even if you say I hate all Nazis, like a lot of them nowadays, especially just they're just not really particularly smart people or they grew up in a bad family or well, they're not so smart. You really, you can't just say you, for any, you can't say you hate all of anything. You know, you, know, all, you can't see you hate you all of anything, like and the next day you've seen dabbing up that same group, a uh, same person from that same group of people. Like, you know, all white people are all racist. The next day you're dabbing up a white dude, going, "Hey, it's my brother." You know, dapping him up, hugging him, like. But you just said that you hate white people, yet you're dapping this dude up and calling him your brother. What does dapping him up mean? Like, dapping, like, you know, like that. You know, like that's what like, that's what dapping is. Yeah. So yeah. So it's I like, know dabbing, but, but I'm not yeah. Dapping. So, so you know what I'm saying? So like, what like you. Uh, is that well, a I new can, Gen Z term, dapping? No, no, uh, you know, you know, you know, a handshake where people kind of like, you know, like slap. I know, I know like that. This. Yeah, I know yeah, that. But that, no, that term's been around forever. Never knew I had a term. I never. Yeah, I, never I guess it's been around forever. But you know, what I'm saying it's like, how stupid is this world? Like, like, where it's like you say that, but then you, you go like two days or so later, you're just out there going like, oh, did I say that? Oh, I didn't mean that, you know, or like, you know, like but that's the other really? thing is like, like. A lot of people are just dumb, you know, and ignorant. And then, like, like I'm saying our age, like, I've even looked back and be like, the fuck was I talking about? You know, even a couple of years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, and we live in a digital age where people our age, or, like, our brains are just starting to be fully developed at 25. So, like, I don't judge people younger than 25 now the way I used to. Because I know that I now I'm 25. I like, can't. Unless, yeah, unless it's, they break the law. Unless they do some really dumb shit. But if they say well, unless if you they, do like evil shit, like yeah, actual like we played you know. like we played um Fugitive. If I hear high schools play Fugitive, I'd be I'd be like, Yeah, I played that, like, hey, like, you know, like I understand that that's you think that's fun, but but you know, like I'll offer a little guidance, but I'll understand like that's what I did as a teenager. Like that's why I think like when yeah. I'm gonna be a parent, like if my kid at sixteen or seventeen goes, Dad, can I have a sip of a beer or something? I'll be like, Yeah, because I, I it'd be unresponsible of me to say no, you can't. But my dad at 15 let me have a margarita or at 10, age eight or nine showed me boobs in American Pie movies. You know, like, I'm not going to, like, tell you no. Like, I'm going to be oh, cool Oh, dude, dad. sneaking American like, Pie movies as a kid was the best. Yeah, like, I'll, I'll be like, my, that, if, my, if my son goes, come up from like, I'll watch it fucking with you. I love those movies. Like, I'll show, yeah, I'll show you yeah. my favorite one. Naked Miles is my favorite one. I was, we'll start with that one. You know? Yeah. So it's like, I'd be the cool. Like, I'm not going to, like, be like, oh, hey, my dad did that. My dad allowed me, but, you know, fuck yeah you know you gotta but like older older people past 25 with like full developed brains i judge now a little more harshly because i've had like did you after you turned 25 in this past year like haven't you felt something click almost that's di completely like my brain works significantly differently than when i was 23 or 24 like i can feel an actual difference do you feel that weirdly enough like I'm not like this may not be related to what you're talking about, but like over the last like year, 
I don't want to say like I've grown like a mentor or like fathership instinct or side of inside of me. But like mm-hmm. lately I've been feeling like I, I'm not ready for kids, but I feel like I want to like, you know, help gr- like mentor and gr- like grow young minds and help people. Like kind of like a father. Like I, I've grown like the father aspect of my life since I hit a certain age. Yeah. Like I feel like I'm at the time where I feel like I want to help you know, it's like shape and grow mine and, you know, help them learn the right stuff. But at the same time, I'm 25 years old. I don't want to, I don't, I'm not ready to support it. Like I want to be able to I, support it and give it a good life. But I, I similar to what you're talking about. I feel, I felt like a different aspect of my life changed to where I think I like, like I your consciousness I, has yes. shifted into a new yes. way of a uh, new way of Thank being. You. Thank you for saving right? me. I was, I was going in circles. I, I was trying to get yeah. my point across, but I was just stuck. So thank you. No, no yes. Problem. Yeah. yeah. So like I feel that too. Like similar, I'm in a different but, I look at life in a different perspective completely of a, a different way of approaching life. I feel like I'm a lot more logical and yes. in control of my emotions and the way I process information versus just even a year ago. I think you processing real world shit and just like understanding what real life is like and we're gonna be as an adult. I think the last two or three years definitely helped a lot, you know, mentally and stuff. But yeah. Because well, I, imagine, I feel like I would love to go back. I feel like I had. Good. Huh? Honestly, I, I would love to go back and go back in time and go. Ryan, you said you you can wait to uh, not have adult stuff to do. <laughs> Agreed, man. Because it sucks. <laughs> you know, and you know, like how important it is when you're my age. But you think that now? Wait till you're nine years in the future. <laughs> You'll be exactly like I am. Like going, oh, this shit real. Yeah, like uh. Like, hey, man, I bet you would probably make the bargain of like, yeah, I'll stick with braces if I don't have to fucking pay taxes. Like, yeah, would you make probably. that bargain? Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, we look so <laughs> bad in that that picture of us at that blazer game. <sighs> that's a rough one where you have the again, braces and I fucking, grade, my teeth though. are crooked. And, like, we're seventh yeah. grade. Like, at the time, you know, it's funny is that, like, at the time, looks weren't really. It was not funny. Like, in seventh grade, we like, you like, like, I didn't care that I had braces. And I looked like a fucking dork. I was like, hey, I'm with my friend at a basketball game. And no, like, again, you people looked at us, we we're like kids, like, oh, that's fine. He's a kid, whatever. Yeah. I, but even back then, see, I was, I, I thought I was like, I wasn't even allowed to dress myself. Granted, I was blind, but I always wanted to wear suits even yeah. back then. Uh, my mom, kind of I just, I was never allowed. Blind. She bought me all these like plaid clothing and all this weird stuff from like Gap or whatever. This is, gar- I, even when I was blind, I was like, this is garbage. I'm like, let me pick out the stuff so I look good. Let me, and they're like, Michael, you're blind. You can't see what you're doing. Like, yes, I can. Let me do what I want. Let me let me put this picture for you people. Imagine you're playing with your one of your good friends on Xbox, PlayStation, whatever. You have the headset on. And you're playing Call of Duty. And you're talking about killing somebody. Then in the background, you hear a mom go, would you like to wear a flannel with these jeans? <laughs> or then you just, you're like, what the fuck's going on here? And then you just hear Michael's mom, you know, trying to dress him for the next day when he's trying to kill people on Black Ops 2. You no, know, this is fucking hilarious. Yeah. Uh, the shitty memories. Um, Great memories. I miss those memories. Those were so funny. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. Th- just We can end on this. Just the final thing of like, Oh yeah, go ahead. I, for, for me, for me, it's like I always felt like I had like a mental block almost. Like every year of your life, a blockage gets removed almost up to the age of twenty five, and then because they say like your brain isn't fully developed until you're yeah. done at twenty five, and I could physically feel that. Like it's something when I turned twenty five. Are you sure that wasn't something moving like, around? Like is there wasn't your eye falling back into your skull or anything? You actually felt it? <laughs> you actually did? Well, I did have COVID on my birthday. <laughs> so maybe that had something to do with it. Yeah, maybe yeah, COVID maybe. is the thing that changed me. I don't know. You felt the COVID move into your brain that day, so you felt something <laughs> you just didn't know what it was yeah. yet. Yeah, it was an interesting twenty fifth birthday. Almost died. Uh, maybe but, that's why. Maybe that's why I almost died again. And I felt different, but, but also, I, feel I, I feel like I have a blockage that was removed. I feel like I have way more access to all the levels of my brain than I did before. But also, but also, like you're now more open to learning than you were in high school. Like, like I feel like over the last couple of years, especially, you've opened your mind more, which maybe will let your more your mind be yeah. more stress free to like maybe move those passages, those blockades to grow like i think that was the same with me like you know in high school i didn't really want to like i said i didn't want adult life i didn't want to do shit now it's like maybe since i've opened my brain more it maybe felt like feels like the blocks are gone so 
maybe. I yeah, know. I would say I was definitely more rigid in my way of thinking. Like, I know I want to do this and this only. I know this is how th this is my perspective, and it's not changing. But I think that's and what now I'm more like that age. I think I think as we all enjoy, like, hey, I want cod. I love cod. I want yeah. food. Me drink. You know, like like at <laughs> sixteen, we're like we 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 went back on things that we enjoyed because at that time the, those enjoyments fulfilled our lives. May have not been very purposeful, but at that time it was purposeful to us. Staying up till three a.m. playing zombies and stuff like that. So yeah. You know, and I remember just, we were saying like we're we're gonna be gamers for life. We're never gonna quit gaming. Yeah. And now I never fucking play games anymore. I Focusing still play. on I, I my still career play. and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, you still as play, but not as much, much. Not as much yeah, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. But yeah. yeah, so it's like, yeah, I think I just think like now I, I don't hate myself. Like you say, like I wish I learned that earlier. It's yeah. just and I don't go That's my the wish thing, right? Did you like did you not love yourself? You know, no, I, I, don't, I, I just, I just think, no, I don't think I love myself. I just think now I go, oh, I wish I would have changed this. I wish, I wish I chose this instead of this. It's like, but I was a kid back then. Like I, I probably would have, if I, if say I did not know anything now and you just put me back in the same spot, I probably would have maybe done the same thing. You know, like, like the, the mo like the probability factor. Like, I just think like, instead of saying guy wishing this earlier, it's just like saying, Hey, I was a kid. Like, I think at, like, as a kid, that was the thing. Like our brain was. You know, at that age, we were just on. I can't blame myself because at the period of time, life that's just what we were. So I can't be like, hey, Yeah, you change your body. You like, I'm not, I'm trying to give myself a gender change. Like, you had a hard like, time to accept. Are you saying you had a hard time accepting who you were or who no, you are? I, or? I just think, I think I had a hard time accepting, accepting some decisions I made as a kid. Okay. But now, but now I'm like, I was a kid. If I look at it, I probably would have made the same decision because at that kid in the mindset, I, I don't have the knowledge. And you learn I had from now. it. You learn yeah, from it. Yeah, you learn from it. So, yeah. like I said, so I think instead of me saying I like I'm a dumbass and I said so like, I wish them that earlier, it's just you know the the period like the time like uh, you know the life cycle. Maybe each section of life is like you know just who you were. Like, hey, I was a teenager. I played video games. Then now I'm an adult. You know, I have a job and I have a family and everything. And I'm not saying yeah, there are definite that. stages. There's yeah, definite yeah. stages of so, learning. Yeah. So I think like I don't, if. I, for me, I, I didn't, like, obviously, I lived the life of a cripple, but I never fully accepted it, even though I thought I did. Yeah. It took me dying many times to really accept my reality. Well, and do you think and you I, enjoy life more that way? part of me. And what? Because do you think you enjoy life more that way? Because I watched a video of, like, some famous, like, TV pastor who, you know, who would talk about God, like, who was really famous, and he died, and he talked about how... You know, I never really started to really live life until I was able to accept death. Like you've accepted death. So do you think like you're <laughs> like, you think life opened up more for you, like mentally and everything? Because I'll tell you right now, personally, I'm not, I, I'm actually afraid to die. I don't know. I don't want to know what it's like. Like I'm afraid, but I know it happens. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm afraid, but I know it's part of life. But I, I fear that day because I don't want it to happen. Like I've, to be honest with you, I've, I've, I thought like, God, I would like to live forever. I, I think I fear death. So, personally, I, I think it's. I think people fear death because they think it's actual. I mean, I I get why no one would believe this, uh, but I know that death is in the end, so I don't fear it anymore. And I don't know if I ever did fear death. I don't know if I ever really thought about it that much, even though doctors told me like, "Hey, man, you might not live." Yeah. I'll be like, Whatever. "Yeah." But after actually having my heart stop a bunch, it made me. Yeah, I just understand there are I understand that there are things in this universe that are not understandable. Yeah. And I learned that the world we live in is duality. It's light with dark and you can't have the light without the dark and vice yeah. versa. Yeah. And you can't have life without death. Death is life and life which is under, death. which makes sense. Yeah, like I like I'm um, fine with accepting that, but like yeah. I think I think I would I think my reason for fearing death is you don't know. If I knew, oh, we die and then we come back like as a baby, you know what I'm saying? Come back as a baby. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. I know. That's fine. I accept it now. All right. So I, I think just like imagining what it would be like on my final breath, knowing what life would be like without everybody that I knew and just my grandkids. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like leaving that life that you enjoyed for so long. 
dude, imagine the years like I just had as a kid and I'm, I'm about to cry because I, I, I can't accept it yet. Like just looking back on the time thinking of like just doing this now, like thinking about being 85 years old and being on my deathbed and just going back to this moment filming, wishing I was 25 years ago. Like, yeah, that just well, that's why every me. moment's precious. Like that's, that's what scares me. And I think, I think, you know, why I think people take my laziness and I, 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 I live life every day and like I wear this, like I'm relaxed. I'm, I'm like, I'm Jimmy Buffett. I'm living life every day because it's like, I fear death because I want to enjoy it. Like I want to live my life because I, but that's fear. what makes death purposeful. Like death has a purpose and it's for oh, that it does, reason. Yeah. Is without yeah. death, life would have no meaning. Yeah. So we I have did. to have death for, to make your life on earth meaningful. Yeah. And, yeah. like, and like, it's fine. I can't, I can't even accept death with other things. Like, I can't watch the animal planet. I can't watch a tiger go hunt down. <laughs> oh, dude. Like, you would not like it. nature as metal on Instagram. That's, that's I sent Bianca to. so many clips of animals being ripped you, apart. You try and to. She's like, Michael, what's wrong no, with you? You try to, but I never watch them. So you stop. Like, I just, I can't. Like, I understand. Like, that's part of life. But for some reason, like, I don't know if it's because I had, like, my parents love dog like, animals. And I've grown to love dogs and just life. Like, I don't know if I just, I can see it just suffering and dying. Like, I, I know that, like, my dog, like, I love my dog to death. But if my dog's dying and it needs to be put down, I'm making Tatum take her, not me. Because I won't be able to fucking take her. I'd be fucking bawling. I, I wouldn't, like, I know she has to die at some point. Because that's what life is. But I won't be able to take her because I won't be able to mentally handle it. Because it's just, I just, I think I just have a thing about death that just makes me sad i was like that too and dying a lot helped me overcome all that emotion like i think it made me manlier where like i had to man up in all these situations and just yeah. be prepared for the worst always like maybe i and, need to see death like i don't want to see to go fucking kill somebody you know and go murder you know but i think go maybe american I, psycho <laughs> yeah but you know maybe if i say like like maybe what I'm I, saying is, as a man it's kind of your responsibility to overcome your emotions and do That's what you need to do true. instead of letting your emotions control you. Be stoic. Like, it's very important to be stoic as a man. And most men our generation are kind of whiny and lazy. And you know. I don't want to say I'm whiny. I just think I'm emotional, you know? I'm not like, saying I, you're I, whiny. Oh, no. I, I'm, 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 saying, I'm not saying you. I'm clear. Like, I'm separating. From, I'm telling the people. Like, I'm, trying, I'm not whiny, you know? You show me the yeah. notebook, I'll cry. But I'm not going to whine that, you know, about other shit. So I'm just saying it's important to still be emotional yeah. and do and do what you got to do no matter what be a Jedi. while you're emotional. Yeah. 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 Be a Jedi. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's a uh, minute or hour 17 hour minutes 17. in here. So. We're like hour About, 15 so. just of track two minutes because yeah. we did click live and Michael played with his tie for a minute and 30 <laughs> seconds. So I'm on hour 15. Yeah. You know, it's, Fuck it, I have to fucking yeah. Like, and then Michael asks me, "Hey, this is Tyler. I'm 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 literally in Arizona looking through a fucking camera. I'm like, how the I can't tell if it looks fucking like. Let me let me look this way. Oh yeah, that looks even. Michael looks great. You know, like it'd be easier if I'm in person. I know, I know. Okay, well, thanks everyone for watching. Let me know in the comments if uh, you're on my side or Ryan's side. No, I will say you look good. I, I, will, I will say you look. I know, I never said you don't look good. I just, I just think. Like, Answer me this: Would John Wick look cooler in a golden tie than a black tie? A gold tie John Wick variation? No, no. What? No, because then it just gets, because then it doesn't get John Wicky. Then it gets more Fortnite. -y. It gets more kind of like John Wick wasn't about the gold. Like it, it was. He was like he was rugged. He was dark. He was about murder. He how was about, about okay? How state. about this? Why even wear a tie? The tie doesn't do anything. Like the, the, the suit's bulletproof I mean, I know. Okay, and everything. Why wear, Why, wear hey. Why wear a tie? Why wear a tie? Why wear a tie? Ask Lionsgate. They made the fucking movie or something. Ask them. It's to make know. him look badass. It's to make him look cool. Ties look cool in a suit. Okay? You don't have to wear a tie. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. It, it's not even bulletproof. It doesn't like you get cut in half by a samurai sword in one of them. It yeah. does nothing. So he only wears he could a wear a gold tie. But he only wears a jacket because it's bulletproof though. He wears a suit. Yeah, I'm saying it serves a purpose, right? Okay, but the tie but, doesn't. Uh, again, he doesn't but here's the question, though. Would he wear a suit, though, if he didn't have to? He would wear something. He could just but, wear a bulletproof no, no, vest. No, no, like something. cops. He could wear, oh, he could we wear a bulletproof vest. He doesn't have to okay. be a suit. Okay, if he wears a suit to look suave, blend in, look badass wherever he is. But if He's he a professional. He's Michael, a professional. All we, know in the movie, all we know in the movie is he wears a suit because it's bulletproof. We don't literally, literally, I bet you if it wasn't bulletproof, if, a t if this t-shirt was bulletproof, 
Instead of a suit, he would wear the t-shirt because it's bulletproof. He, but there's bulletproof go, vest. You could wear a vest. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to wear. I'm going to wear a suit over a bulletproof vest because I'm going to die. See, I'm going to die popping. No, As I'm an assassin, he has to blend in and look cool wherever he is. That's his job. You, you know. could wear a shirt. You could literally wear a bulletproof shirt and blend then it. Why isn't he wearing it? Why isn't he wearing just a normal shirt though? Because in the movies, the suit he's is badass. Bulletproof. Right? He's no, trying to be badass. Hey, no, you're. No, he's not. We literally, we literally. If he literally said, in "I the love movie, pushing you," I love pushing he, you. If you literally said in the movie, "I wear a shirt to, uh, suit to be badass," I would have no argument. You'd be kicking my ass with this argument. There'd be even no argument. But literally, all we know is he puts on a suit, and we know his suit's bulletproof. We don't know what he prefers suits over his shirts. We don't know anything. So you're literally just taking something that we don't know and automatically going, yeah, well, he wears a suit, so he likes suits, you know? Okay. Well, thanks, everyone, for watching. Let me know if you like the color gold or if I'm a pretentious prick. Okay, I didn't say that. I didn't say you're a pretentious prick. I didn't say I'm going to come up a little arrogant. That's all I, I said. A little oh, yeah. Arrogant. Vote on this, too. Like, I'll even put the... I made a really rough model in Photoshop of, like, what a golden wheelchair would like, look like. Like my hair rough. <laughs> yeah, it's not... It's, you know, I didn't really spend a lot of time on it. There's no ball but, spots in it. There is a lot of ball spots. He didn't spend a lot of time on it. Yeah. So, would you... Th would you think that's awesome if I rolled out on stage in a golden wheelchair wearing this outfit, golden tie, golden pocket square, golden chairman lapel pen, all, the whole nine miles, all right? Or would I look like a prick? And you, would, you, would you laugh less because you think I'm arrogant yeah, I would, or something? I would reword that differently. I wouldn't like try to like demonize, like demonize yourself. I'd, go, I'd word the question going, do you think me wearing like gold wheelchair will, like does having a gold wheelchair impact like, would you find me more funny or more spontaneous gold wheelchair? Don't be like, oh, hey, is this gold wheelchair? You know, was maybe look going to be a prick. People try to troll you and go, oh, he looks like a prick. So I'd kind of. Okay, would you say, would you say I'm a prick or would I look cool? Let's keep it simple. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Too. Easy. Cool or prick? All right. Thanks again I, for I, watching, everyone. Middle. You're okay. That's fine. We fucking, okay. We came to a conclusion. We have a, we have a agreement. That's fine. I'll take down the middle. Anyways. <laughs> And check me out on TikTok, all the socials, Instagram. And uh, want to plug anything, Ryan? Uh, you said your, your Twitch channel. Oh, yeah, I did stream the other day. So if you want to watch me on Twitch, which I, you know, sometimes still stream on, you can follow me on Twitch, Michael the German. Uh, so thanks, everyone, for watching. And we'll see you in the next episode.